What's up, everybody? My name is Vincent. Welcome to Cryptolution, where we talk about everything under the moon, the crypto universe. Today is Monday, November 13th. In today's video, I want to share with you some undervalued ETH NFTs that are out there on the market. Now, because these are undervalued, if you end up buying these NFTs, understand that you are speculating. You are not here to make a ton of money overnight. This is all based on speculation, meaning when you do invest in these things, you're taking a huge risk or a high risk when getting exposure to this. So because I'm going to inform you about these NFTs, just don't go aping in buying a whole bag thinking you're going to make a ton of money a year down the road. If anything, I'm looking at these NFTs, maybe I'll buy one, two, maybe three of these NFTs. And it really depends on what what the team is building, how the community is kind of reacting to these NFTs. Is there any FOMO going to happen later? But really, I just want to share with you because they've just been on my radar and I keep visiting these NFTs every now and then. I want to share this with you as well since you are our viewers. So with that said, be sure to watch this video throughout its entirety. You have to stick around to the very end to hear my conclusion and statement with these NFTs so you get a better perspective on if this is something you want to have exposure to. So with that said, be sure to smash the like button, subscribe to the channel. Don't forget to join our Patreon page. And most importantly, please be careful with any of the scammers down in the comments below. I will never reach out via WhatsApp, Telegram, direct messaging, or email. So please be careful and invest safely. So guys and girls, let's get right into it. So we do know that Ethereum entity volume is actually coming back. Now, regardless, we're seeing Ethereum's cryptocurrency price kind of stay steady around $2,000. Sometimes when we see cryptocurrencies go up in value, we tend to see NFTs of that native blockchain go down in value. Why? It's simply because people who hold NFTs, who collect NFTs, would rather take their profits in US dollar conversions or try to have theirs in cryptocurrency so that they can convert it into cash. And sometimes we see liquidations of NFT collections go down as a result of that. But not with Ethereum NFTs. Whenever I see Ethereum NFTs go up, that means Ethereum's cryptocurrency goes up and vice versa. So this is the collections I kind of want to share with you today that are kind of on my radar and I haven't really bought into just yet, but again, I keep revisiting them. What's the very first one? Well, that is Springfield Punks. Now you must be wondering, wait, 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 Vincent, didn't you tell us not to buy this collection? You told us it was going to dip really, really low. Well, yes, I did. When we covered this last in our video, which I'll put a link on the upper right hand side, I would said that at the time of that recording, this collection could possibly go to 0.001 Ethereum, but has stayed steady around 0.02 Ethereum. Now, I still hold steady to the thought of maybe you shouldn't be buying a ton of these. But here's the thing. When I covered this collection, it used to be around 0.30 Ethereum. So that's quite a bit of money considering it's each NFT and some people did buy into that. If you look into the actual sales of that NFT, look at here. In this actual past 30 days of this NFT collection, we've actually seen over 15,000 of these NFTs sell. That's a lot of NFTs just trading with a really brand new collection. And obviously the reason this collection was getting a lot of traction was because of the whole Simpson episode with Treehouse Horrors that was making fun of NFTs. And we saw the top there. And ever since then we've seen some like consolidation, some dipping in the floor price, but notice that it's kind of been holding steady here for almost a week. So you must be wondering, is this a time to buy? Well, keep in mind there are 18 whales that have a ton of these NFTs. Basically those 18 whales are right here. And how much do they hold? They hold roughly 30 or more of these NFTs. Keep that in mind. And right now the floor price isn't that much. You can actually become a whale yourself. If you own 30 or more, it's not gonna break your bank because each one is 0.02 Ethereum. So keep that in mind. Like, are you gonna go aping into this? Well, you gotta keep in mind, this is the lowest point I think will ever go, but that's just my point of view. If you wanna look at some specific traits that you wanna look out for with this NFT collection, I would actually go back to Blur. And when you select the body category, there are two specific traits that I'm actually interested in. One is called radiation, which actually looks like an X-ray version of the actual NFT. And there's also this other version, which is called the ape. Now the ape is also very popular because again, it, these are very popular traits within CryptoPunks, which this is a derivative of. Springfield Punks is just a derivative of CryptoPunks. But as we know, CryptoPunks, apes tend to do really well. 
And the reason why I would have maybe exposure to one or two of these, I mean, really, I would just buy one radiation and one ape just to speculate. It doesn't break my bank and I can just hold on for dear life. So with that said, I want to move on to the second collection because we don't have much time. The second collection is called Nounish Punks. Now, what is Nounish Punks? It's actually a game, believe it or not. So these are characters. Sooner or later, they're going to become PFPs and sooner or later, they're going to reveal. But they're actually quite affordable considering that's around 0.09 Ethereum. Now, when we look at this, it's actually this game right here. So this is what looks like to be somewhat of a first person shooter, open world. And as you can see, it looks like it's great quality. This isn't some just test demo or something to trick people into investing in. And I think this is actually going to be kind of legit. Why is that? Now, what's great about this game is that it's funded by the Noun DAO. So what is Noun DAO? Well, if you look at this game, you scroll down to the very bottom is funded and backed by the nouns DAO, which is part of this website. Now, if you don't know what nouns are, this collection of nouns consistently forever in time will be making a new NFT, I think almost every single day. And every single day when this NFT does come out, they raise a lot of money. Like already this one noun has 22 Ethereum current bid, which is kind of crazy. And the reason they do this is because it's kind of like a cycle. So they take the money that they put in a treasury and then the community, because it's a DAO, a decentralized autonomous organization, they're going to decide and vote on where the money should be spent. And I guess what happened was they decided, you know, we want to fund this game, this game right here, which is part of Noun's DAO. So the game is called Nounish Punks, and also the game seems pretty legit. Sooner or later, it's going to be available on Steam, and you can set yourself up for a wish list. But this is why these NFTs could be undervalued as of right now. But keep in mind, these NFTs have not revealed yet. What we could be seeing right now is a top of this actual floor price for this NFT. Once the NFTs reveal, we could see a dip. In the actual floor price so keep that in mind it hasn't pumped so hard just yet but this is why you should keep this on your radar now with the next collection let's talk about kaiju kings now kaiju kings has also been on my radar because it's been very affordable but also i just love the pixelated artwork these guys have been around for such a long time i think there's an absolute discount on value with these nfts and to me i just definitely think that there's quality here later on down the road it really hasn't pumped or dumped at all during the volatility of this market over the past year or so so really I'm looking at these I'm like hmm maybe I should just have exposure to one and just recently they announced that there's gonna be some traits that you can change within your NFT and it's kind of a gamified experience and what happens is on basically November 14th is when you're gonna be able to do these types of things which you can switch the clothes and some spooky traits is kind of interesting but also there are these augmented packs around 750 of them that are gonna be available in tokens and again you can always pause this video Video to check it out but i just think that's really interesting that they haven't really died out that they're actually still around so again keep this on your radar kaiju kings undervalued in my opinion and to me i would only buy one if that were my case that's just me i just want to have exposure to one so let's cover the last collection and that's going to be ether now ether is an nft collection that's experienced a lot of bud it didn't fully mint out in fact there's a lot of these capsules which are these separate nfts that if you reveal the capsules, you'll be given one of these rare characters and possibly a really rare one, right? It's something that's a one-on-one -on -one or just something that's extremely rare. But you could skip that and just say, hey, you know what? I just want to buy an Ether avatar. Now, Ether has dropped significantly in its floor price. I remember it used to be over like 0 0.5 Ethereum, but right now it's around 0 0.14 Ethereum. It's kind of hold steady there. Now, the reason I'm bringing this collection up, even though it's experienced a lot of fun, is because I actually technically like the artwork. Yes, this is very speculation investments right here but again there are some certain traits that maybe i would buy like i would love the medusa trait which is something that has the snakes on it maybe something with the angel wings but again there's so many different characters so many different backgrounds and yes it's just all over the place but again you just need to have exposure to one if that's something that you want to have exposure to plus if you're into anime maybe that's the case as well now i want to keep in mind that they did just come out with a new trailer which is called a new beginning now this new trailer is supposed to hint to everybody that there's going to be uh, another chance for people to see a new narrative with the story because again they came out with a trailer for their first collection or at least the collection that we're talking about right now and people were like expecting something really huge about this but it didn't fully mint out and the reason is 
I think we're in a bear market for NFTs and it launched in a bear market for NFTs. So obviously I didn't think it was going to mint out completely. You could have exposure to great return on investment later on down the road if you just buy one or two of these NFTs. And again, you have to buy the artworks or PFPs that you do like. Just don't go buy like a 10 of these and thinking like oh, you're going to flip them because you I don't think you're going to make money that way. So just keep that in mind. This is just my personal opinion between these NFTs and why I think maybe we should really do our own research. Now, as a conclusion and statement with all these different collections, yes, they're all very undervalued, but they're really high risk. You know, like when you buy these NFTs, who knows if they're ever going to come back from their floor price, but that's why they're so cheap. I wouldn't pitch to you guys or even share with you guys and girls NFT collections that were high in value, meaning like a really big floor price, only for you to risk losing it all. These are all these collections that I think have the potential of reaching headwaves if they really keep their community engaged, giving them updates, or there's a community that builds around it, or people who just love the artwork and maybe the gaming experience or just the overall collective experience around these NFTs. So make sure to do your own research before buying any of these. And I'd love to hear your comments because maybe there's other NFTs that we haven't covered on this channel that we can do our research on and just see if that's the right thing for any of you to really look into so you don't waste any time. So I can't wait to read those comments and be sure to smash the like button and subscribe to the channel. Don't forget to join our Patreon page to receive all of our alpha calls, both buy and sell orders, both NFTs and cryptocurrencies. Until then, I'll see you guys girls next time.